What's up, fellow movie buster film connoisseurs? It's your self proclaimed cinema show gun here. And I don't know about y'all, but personally, I'm starting to think that Brian's lawyer isn't the sharpest tool in the shed. He's literally allowing himself to be talked into a corner by random reporters before his client's trial even starts. And not just that, dude just seems unprofessional as fuck. He hasn't released a, a formal statement yet. Literally all the statements that he's released have been random text messages that he's sending to random reporters. So all the statements that you've read so far have just been text messages that he's sending out. And today, I think it may have gone too far. Today he sent out a fiery text message upset about Dog the Bounty Hunter, and I think he may have said too much. So let's look at this text, and then I'll get back to you with some of my thoughts. That dog doesn't know what he's talking about. The laundry's had reservations at the campground for September 1st to the 3rd. They canceled those reservations and did not go to that park during that weekend, although that dog says they did. They did go to that campground September 6th and 7th as a family, and they all left together despite the claims of others. The following weekend, Chris, Roberta, and Brian went to other places on two different dates, and the FBI is aware of this. So Brian obviously returned home after camping, and what that dog is spewing is nothing but baloney. Now, I don't know if Brian's lawyer thought this statement made his clients look good, but to me, it makes them look even worse. Because I guess it's one thing if you and your son go on this three-day camping trip while his fiance is missing, who is literally living in your house before they went on this trip. But it's a whole nother thing if you come to the realization that literally ever since Brian got back from this trip, it looks like Brian and his family were doing their best to stay away from home. This trip wasn't a three-day camping trip. There was a cancel trip from the first to the third. So in that time, I believe that they just decided to go to another campground. Then they came here on the sixth and the seventh. And if what his lawyer is saying is true, and Brian did leave them that day, they went camping again and went somewhere else the next weekend. So it looks to me like Brian and his family were trying to stay away from home as much as possible. Why is that? Your son's girlfriend is missing, a woman who is literally living under your roof. Your son comes back in her van without her, and your response is to go on a camping trip, and not just one camping trip, then you go on another camping trip, and then another camping trip. And you're just going camping every freaking day. Every freaking day while this girl is missing. It's obvious that you don't want to be home, because you know that any given moment, there's going to be a bang on that door, and they're coming for your son. So you're trying to stay away from home as much as possible. You're going to all these different campgrounds. And I'm thinking like, who knows what was going on through these people's heads? This is a crazy situation to be in. So who's to say that Brian and his family didn't pack up that camper and they thought that maybe they all were gonna make a run for it as a family. Maybe they were thinking at first like, hey, we'll just all take off. Not just Brian, we'll just all as a family, one big happy family, murderous family, we'll just all take off across the border. You know, because that's what I'm starting to think because they keep going to these camping grounds and it's like the parents want to stay away from home as well. They could have easily, you know, Brian could have easily gone to these camping grounds by himself. He goes camping all the freaking time, but he's got his family with him. And now we know that this three-day camping trip that we've all been focused on Turns out, how, who knows how many days these people have been gone and gone. Like, you know what I'm saying? We thought it was three days, so we thought, oh, you know, for a fact, wherever they took Brian, they only had three days to do it. But look at this. They could have been gone a week or two weeks. And this brings me back to the point that I originally made. In, like the first video when I started covering this case, when Brian's neighbors came out and mentioned the three-day camping trip. I made the point that no one really pays attention to their neighbors that well. At least I don't. So my neighbors could probably take off for a week, a week and a half. And in my mind, I might think it's three days because I'm not really paying that much attention. Here we have this older couple across the street that saw you take off for the camper and they think it's three days, maybe it's seven days. What's a few days to them? It's not like they're hyper-focused on Brian's family because they already know that something's going on. To them, it's just normal everyday stuff. But it also brings me to another point that someone else around the area had to see something. 
those neighbors couldn't have been the only neighbors of Brian's that saw his family take off. Because from what it looks like, they're just going camping left and right. So all of these neighbors surrounding Brian, none of y'all seen saw Brian and his family leave. In fact, in a Facebook group I was in, there was one of Brian's neighbors in that group. And I want to say her name was Kat, but I may be mistaken. I can't really remember the name. But when the, when the neighbors came out and started talking about the camping trip, she was real adamant in trying to say that they were just doing it for publicity, that she never saw Brian's family leave, and that they just wanted the limelight. And in my mind, I was like, it's obvious that this is an older couple. I don't think they have anything to gain here. I don't think they want to become famous from seeing Brian's family take off on a camping trip. But she was real adamant in trying to deny that it ever happened. And I find that kind of weird. And I'm not saying that she knows anything or that any of the neighbors know anything specifically. But y'all had to see something. Y'all had to see these people keep taking off. And I'm so surprised that none of the other neighbors came forward talking about this camping trip or talking about Brian's family always leaving or always being gone. Because from what Brian's lawyer is saying, they've been gone basically the whole entire time since Brian came back. So all in all, nothing that Brian's lawyer said here made Brian or his family look any better in my eyes. For one, I never thought that Brian's family dropped him off at Fort DeSoto Park to escape. I thought it was a possibility once all the news came out but in my opinion, that was just too close to home for someone who's really trying to make a run for it. So I never thought that this was the final location. I thought that this was a stop along the way to helping Brian escape. And then on another hand, now we know that they've just gone camping left and right ever since Brian got back, which just tells me that his family's trying to run from something. They don't want to be home when Gabby's body's found. They don't want to be home because they know that any moment they're coming for their son so it looks like they've been trying to stay away for as long as possible and eventually they decided to come home without their son once the story got too big okay because this story just started blowing up i don't know if maybe they thought that they could sweep this under the rug a little bit it would blow over but this case got bigger than anyone could ever imagine so maybe they originally had plans a certain plan you know in place and then once the story got so big maybe they decided to change those plans and like I said, from the way that it seems like Brian's parents were trying to stay away from home as well, maybe they thought for a moment that they could go on the run too. And then this story blew up and one of either the mother or the father, someone talked them out of it and they decided to go with a whole different option. But like I said, now we know just how cold hearted and crazy these people are that they have stayed away from home literally the whole time since Brian got back from that trip with Gabby. But I want to know your thoughts about all of this down in the comments below. Surely you have some theories and your opinions. Your opinions don't have to align with mine. I'm just interested in hearing them. But while you're down there, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, I will leave a link in the description of this video for my other channel where I'm also covering this case. You might want to go subscribe over there as well for more information. But as always, find some time out of your day to relax and go watch a movie.